What's up all my Ewok Shibbles, Droids, and Wookiees? It's Anna, also known as that Star Wars girl. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how Marvel, you know, one of the big two in the comic book industry, is screwing over artists yet again. Okay, so I have this pulled up here on Twitter. So this is from Draw Talk. I don't know who this is. I'm sorry. I've never seen this account before, but it says, this is how I found all of this. So... A little bit of backstory. Zoe is a fantastic artist and Marvel did her dirty. One, they paid her for the sketch for like $100. Two, they used it and turned it into a cover, saving them money by not paying her cover rate. And three, don't tell her uh, or explain to anyone else the context while she gets roasted online. So I guess what happened was they took this, which is a design layout. This is not supposed to be... A cover image basically it's just supposed to show the design of the costume and so that's why you have this front view and back view, uh, back view excuse me and so it's like you can obviously see the design of the costume you can see the accessories that come with it and i guess it's like british spider-man with a belt that doesn't really look like utility belt but it, it does look just like a basic costume design right like it's completely flat there's no dimension in the colors nothing showing the shape just flat here's the absolute base value design and so this is that versus her other work so these like are her comic pages obviously you can tell the difference in quality and the time that she put in in this one versus this one and when you go to her tweets it it explains a little bit more let me zoom in real fast for you guys okay now that we're zoomed in a little bit more so you guys can see uh recently i've been getting hate regarding spider-man uk i think people are being purposely obtuse about it but i'm going to try to explain marvel pay me for a sketch at a sketch rate so I delivered a sketch it was not cover art I did not know it was going to be cover art so that's her kind of explaining like the quality and you know why it is the way it is like if somebody's paying you for a sketch you're not going to do you know a fully illustrated design right you're going to do what they're paying you to do because this is your job so I mean she's in the right here follows up with it was concept art design work that a hundred dollars or so i got paid went mostly into design not art if you don't like the design that is fine it's subjective but people bashing me as an artist for a design sketch thinking it is cover art well upsetting i guess yeah it is it's pretty fucked up that people are going after her saying that she's a terrible artist simply for a design and again she got paid a hundred dollars for it now when it comes to like you know, the interiors of a comic book page. I honestly think uh, for some people, at least what I've heard, it, I mean, some rates are pretty low, which the way that Marvel and DC are, it, it is pretty low. It can go range from anywhere from like $125 to maybe $500. Like if you want to get somebody like Jay Scott Campbell to draw the interiors of your comic, I mean, you're probably be paying thousands of dollars just for like an interior comic book page. So, and a lot more goes into designing an entire you know, <laughs> story in one page, you know, so with this, it, it sucks for her that she got the kind of hate that she did. And I'm going to show you guys that in a minute. But I just kind of wanted you guys to see like what the story was behind this before I show you the outrage that this girl got. So just to wrap up this little story. Anyway, I've muted all the threads I've been tagged in. I don't want to hear it about it. I'm personally happy with the design and I don't care. It's used as a cover. I just want to focus on doing what I do best, which is making comics. Thanks. So very humble, very straightforward, very, you know, to the point. And, you know, it, it fucking sucks. And again, like she didn't even get paid a cover rate. They they totally screwed this girl over by saying, hey, like, we just need a sketch of a design of, you know, of a character design. Like, we literally just, here's 100 bucks, do as a character design. Which, for fucking Marvel, they can cough, off more, cough up more than 100 fucking dollars for a character design. Like, give me a fucking break. Like, way to rip off your artist, one. And then, two, to totally bastardize that by making it, like, the cover and not paying her a cover rate. That's totally fucked up and super fucked 
fucking shady and it spurged this whole outrage online now just to show you guys even more of an example so here is her design obviously right here it's just like the base layout again it's not rendered it's just here is this character here is the costume here's how the mask works right and then well oh she didn't inverse the leg correctly Oh, this is going to irritate the shit out of me. This is the same thing that happened with the new warriors. But again, like she got paid a hundred bucks. So I'm pretty sure she popped this out in like, I don't know, maybe like an hour it two, if most, like I wouldn't spend as much time on that. Like if you're only getting paid a hundred dollars, like how mu it's basically how much is your time worth and how much can you get done, you know, fast and like based on what the notes are. So, this is going to drive me freaking crazy. I can't unsee this. But anyways, let's let's go back over here. Uh, the point wasn't that. The point was to get the design. And so this is what she says, you know, right here. My first Marvel character design got shown off uh, design for Spider-Man UK for the Spider-Verse uh, comics cover art. So this is cover art, guys. This is, you know, fully rendered. You have the character. I, I don't know why she's so small. Like, this doesn't seem like it's... Uh, her story it maybe maybe she's just like an uh, a character that's getting introduced into Gwen Stacy's story because that's what like Spidey Gwen is like front and center so like when I see this it, that that's what it reads as to me is that Spidey Gwen is the new character is the main character and then she's the new character that's going to be like her sidekick which maybe that's what the story is about I don't know but I guarantee you this chick got paid for a cover artist price, whereas this chick didn't, which is kind of shady. But I mean, that's what happens when you work for mainstream comics is you get screwed over like that. And I mean, it sucks. It sucks for this chick. But, you know, she seems like she's got a good head on her shoulders. And, you know, she's like, yo, guys, I literally got paid for this. I did what I did. I didn't know they were going to use it like that. I'm sure if she knew that, maybe she'd like throw a little bit more into it. But at the end of the day, she did her job. She did what she was asked to do. She got paid for it. It's just fucked up that 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 just makes me think it was like Marvel like waiting on something. Uh, like did this? I I don't know. Do they not have other covers like this? Like I don't know. It just seems shady to me. But I just wanted to talk about this uh, because I talk about comics here on my channel. I know I'm that Star Wars girl, but I also talk about Marvel, DC, superhero stuff that I like, and you know the difference between working in mainstream industry, uh, industry, industries, and you know independent. And the way that it looks right now, you know, independent is the way to go. So here's a perfect example. This is my friend Ethan Van Skyver's comic. This is Cyber Frog to Wreck Planet. So this is just like a dude that used to work at DC Comics. You probably have, you know, heard of some of the characters that he drew, like Flash, like Green Lantern, stuff like that. Well, he had an original character that he created uh, what, back in the 90s, Cyber Frog. And after quitting DC, he decided, hey, I'm just going to do everything myself and I'm going to start a company and I am going to just draw and write and produce my own comics. Raised over a million dollars, $1.2 million. And then... You have other people like Eric July, Young Ripa here on YouTube. What he did was he was a comic book fan his entire life. And then he decided after seeing how, you know, DC and Marvel just kind of bastardize every single IP that they have. He's like, fuck this. I've been reading comics all my life. I'm going to give it a freaking go. And he's raised over three million dollars on his comic. And he's creating this entire universe called the Ripaverse. So I guarantee you. And I, I know this for a fact. Him and Ethan wouldn't screw over an artist the way Marvel screwed over Zoe. They wouldn't hire someone to do designs and then have that person like get paid a hundred bucks and then use that as cover art. No, they actually pay their artists extremely well, a lot better than Marvel and DC do. So that, I mean... <laughs> look at the way companies are doing they're doing artists dirty and i personally think it's fucked up and i just wanted to talk about this because it, i saw this on my feed and i thought about it and like it was just in the back of my head all day and i kind of just wanted to talk about this and so yeah just so guys let me know what you think about all of this down in the comment section below if you agree with me let me know if you don't agree with me let me know why and uh guys thank you so much for watching 
you know, this far through. If you like this video, please smash the like button. And if it didn't, that's okay too. Again, thank you so much for watching. If you guys are new here, you guys kind of like this content. Why don't you take a minute and smash that subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications. Make sure that that bell is set to all. That way you actually get notifications when I do other videos and live streams. And until next time, everyone, I hope you guys all have a great rest of your day, morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are in the world. And may the force be with you because we are really, really, really going to need it. Bye, everyone. Well, everyone, I hope you all enjoyed my extremely drunk review of the movie Dune. I also have another review that's a little bit more in depth. If you guys would like to check it out, it will be linked down in the description of this video. But that drunk stream came about from me promoting my previous Indiegogo campaign. And that campaign ended. Thank you so much for all of the success. And because it was so successful, I have launched another campaign. So this campaign has been up for uh, a while now. There's only 12 days left on the first 30 day cycle. This is the Cosplay Calendar Gamer Edition. So a lot of the characters that people requested from the previous calendar, well, a lot of them were video game characters. So I just decided to do a whole collection of video game characters for this calendar. Now the link for this is down in the description if you guys want to go check it out and support my channel further. Also make sure if you guys haven't already to subscribe to the channel, smash that like button and ring that bell for notifications. That way you guys never miss me <laughs> doing a live stream where I do uh, a live extremely drunk review of a movie but uh, anyways everyone thank you so much for watching I hope you guys all have a great rest of your day morning evening afternoon wherever you are in the world go check out my new Indiegogo campaign if you haven't already and until next time guys may the force be with you because we are really 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 going to need it bye everyone also guys, I have a Twitch channel where I play video games like Elden Ring and KOTOR, as well as an Instagram where I post photos from my recent cosplay escapades. If you guys aren't following me on either of those, go do so now. The link is in the description of this video. And just in case if you guys are interested in my art, I have an art Instagram as well where I post all of the time-lapse videos from my recent project, the I project, as well as other projects that I've worked on if you scroll down further. And if you're interested in purchasing some prints of my art or stickers or bookmarks and stuff like that, any kind of merchandise that I make based on the stuff that I paint, you guys can go over to my Etsy. It's the Art of Anna TSWG. Everything, again, that I've showed you will be linked down below in the description of this video. Thank you so much, everyone. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.